Before this video starts, I just wanted to give a huge thank you to LPS Wings on YouTube and Instagram for this awesome piece of fan art. It's so cute. Anyways, enjoy the video. Wake up, you mutts. We have a long day ahead of us. Ugh. Mm. Ugh, goodbye, sleep. <gasps> Whoa, Lauren. Look. Wow. What happened to you? What do you mean? Do I look... Do I look weird? Like, you don't look that much different. I mean, you just... I guess you just... A lot of your spots changed colors, like, and you just look really cool. How did how did you just like change overnight? Like, I don't understand. Hey, well, I mean, I did get a midnight test, and I did get shocked by a lot of a lot a lot of levels of shock, but only for like, like ten seconds, fifteen seconds. I know what this is about. I overheard the doctors talking about it a few weeks ago. If you get shocked with too many electric shock levels, you'll change a different form. It's They said the form you change into is so dangerous that they don't even want to test it. But I believe, they believe that there are just stages. And maybe you were in a stage because he almost shocked you with too many shock levels. And you changed barely, but you did change. That does make sense. All subjects follow me to your new room. Line up, single fine line. Let's go. Here are the subjects. Thank you, sir. Go ahead and enter. Everybody ready? Come on, Lauren, just enter, okay? All right, let's go. Whoa, what is this place? This place is your new cell area. From this moment on, you will have a cell partner. Your cell partner is the person that's beside you. And there's only allowed two in a cell. So I'm guessing you're my partner. And if I'm not your partner, I'm your partner. And we're partners. Exactly. You can decide whose cell mate, where your cells are, and blah blah blah, um, later. We have very many various things they can do in here when we're not testing you. And all these things you can do are to, to basically train you. Over there we have a hammock. That hammock is if you need a rest, but the thing is, no one else is allowed to push you. You have to find a way to push yourself using whatever you can. Over there is a TV, which you have to put on the static part for you to find your inner energy to transform into your form. There's your mask right there. You don't want to look at anything because that would make it harder to transform. These are the only games you get which all involves skill and other things to learn. So you need to just learn how to ride a skateboard and play tug and see who's the strongest. Those are the only things you're allowed to have. No other things are fun. And that's basically it. Have a good time here. Wait, what's in the dollhouse? I'm not sure. Professor put that one in. You guys can open it up if you want. See what's in there. Basically your decision. I really don't care. Well, she's definitely the nicest out of all the scientists here. You could tell how hard she was trying to sound mean. But I mean, it's better to have a nice scientist pretending to be mean than a mean scientist being mean. So me and Taylor are going to take this cell. I guess me and um, her will take this cell. And I guess we're left with no choice but to have this cell. 
So, uh, hey, what's your, your name anyways? We don't know you, but I get a hole. Mm-hmm. Oh, the name's Ivy. Why do you have the number 13? We all have pretty high numbers. Well, except for Lauren. Oh, because, well, you see, I was taken in um, a long, long time ago. But being the smart person I am, I escaped um, at the age of 12. I know, impressive. But they've been searching for me ever since, and they found me again. Idiot doctors. Ugh, I knew I shouldn't have gone the way I did, but I thought the faster to get out, the better. But I should have gone the harder way, because they wouldn't have gone that way. And I would still be out there. Well, I mean, are you powerful? Like, what can you do? Hmm? Oh, I can do anything revolving around fire. Yeah, I can form fire at the end of my fingertips. It's pretty wicked, but it's awesome. I like it. So, what do you weird people do? I really don't know what I do. I usually don't remember by the end of it. Yeah, me neither. Same. All I remember is going really, really fast. My power has really nothing to do with strength of the hands, more with strength of the mind. Hmm. That's actually pretty interesting. So what can you do? Well, I can move things with my mind. Crush things with my mind. I can make the room hot or cold. Uh, I can do a lot of different things, but they all take up different amount of energy, and if I lose so much energy, I become, like, paralyzed for some amount of hours until I regain my power of energy. It's pretty cool, but it's really difficult, and it has a lot, a lot of mind things and brain malfunctionings for it to happen. Hmm. Well, maybe you can show us an example. Do any of you guys know how to uh, trigger your powers without any electric bolts? I don't think really any of us know how to. I can. Ah, cool. What can you do? I can turn into a powerful sea creature. A, a siren. I feel like I remember you. Like back in my memories. You have memories? Wow, that's impressive. I don't remember anything past seven. I used to though, but they erased my memory after a big incident. I don't know what that was either. I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, me too. Well, if everyone else is going, I might as well as well. Alright, I'm tired. Oh. Good night, guys. Good night. Jupiter. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> Let me open the door. Come on, quickly. <laughs> Where's your office? I don't remember. It's this 
fair. <laughs> Come on, let's go quickly before someone sees us. Sorry. Yeah, I can form higher at the at the 